on this episode of 5 Minutes of Cloud, what is this serverless thing people keep talking about? So there's an issue that seems to be coming up. Developers and this whole DevOps movement are incredibly powerful and the the DevOps value is this acceleration and better enablement of uh, the ability to deploy applications. This is incredibly valuable. However, developers really don't like operations. Sure, the ability to suddenly unleash the shackles of the IT staff and the ability to turn a server on when everyone was needed um, are incredibly powerful. The concept of composing the infrastructure needed to actually deploy a specific application is also a very functional and very useful capability. And the reality, the value proposition of DevOps is not going to go away. I think it's shifting. I think it's shifting into an ops dev world where the operators are taking the same concepts that the developers have been using to uh, simplify their lives and applying it to the infrastructure but the actual developers themselves don't want to be operators. This is a big shift. Uh, it's a big change for a lot of people because up until now, I think the concept was I'll do everything. I'll be an operator. I'll manage the security on my servers. Uh, I'll deal with all the different individual components and this will be great, but it's a lot of work. And trying to get one person to be able to handle all of that and keep on top of all of that is really the wrong approach for many applications. So what we're seeing is this push to this concept of serverless computing. The developer is really trying to get back to uh, the ability to focus on developing the application, creating new features, new functions, uh, new interactions, focusing on making sure that their microservices stay microservices and don't become interactive or, or integrated monolithic applications. Um, there's a lot of work that has to be done there. And so the serverless movement really is that. It is the unopsing of dev, if you want to think of it that way, um, where suddenly the uh, operation staff can actually go and focus on operating an infrastructure and give the developers the capability to focus on developing their applications. Now, there are a number of different components that we've talked about in other five minutes of cloud episodes that enable this concept of serverless computing. And one of the key uh, components is this shift towards a container-based deployment process. Um, really, containers provide a very functional mechanism for integrating an application and all of its required libraries and software components, and potentially in, in a way that can be used from someone's laptop all the way through a production server in exactly the same way. This is very powerful. So the developers get to compose their application infrastructure without a server. And the operators can now focus on enabling an operational platform that simplifies the developer's consumption of that resource environment. That's what actually really makes this serverless environment. Now, the other aspect of an operations process, if we think of a classic application deployment, is also this concept of scale. And again, the container solution comes into play here, enabling that scale up and scale down uh, capability and something that a developer can validate as a scale up and scale down capability all within their same environment. Again, from a laptop into production using the same models. This allows the developers to develop and validate that scale up, scale down service and it lets the operators build out the infrastructure that can support truly that scale up and scale down service. So don't be scared by serverless. Uh, it doesn't actually mean the servers are going away, even though some people might really like to see that happen. Uh, but really what it does mean, I believe, is a shift in the developer mindset back towards developing and composing the application-specific infrastructure that they need and letting an operations team continue to operate all of the rest of the resources that sit around that application-specific infrastructure, managing the security context, managing the infrastructure scale and performance in a way that lets the developers focus where they need, they need to focus and lets operators focus on the pieces that the developers really don't have bandwidth to deal with. So overall, it's a good win for everyone. Thanks for watching. 
If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In addition, if you want to stay apprised of the latest ongoing updates in the cloud space, uh, sign up for our Twitter feed and our mailing list. We also update you on upcoming webinars and classes that we provide.